sadakta kabisa wapenzi wa tazamaji wa kituo chako na nambari moja cha Kenyan Media ni matumaini yangu kwamba mupo salama karibu tuweze kusonga mbele na habari ambazo zimeweza kuchipuka katika taifa lako tukufu la Kenya tazamaji nataka niweze kukuchanua hivi katika taifa la Kenya kila kitu ambacho utokea huwa kimeweza kupangwa na nielewa mfano Unaona hizi blackouts ambazo hutokea hapa nchini huwa zimeweza kupangwa na serikali na lengo lao limeweza kupangwa jinsi ambavyo utakuja kufaidika. Siku ya Jumatano tarehe 13 mwezi wa 12 mwaka 2023 bwana William Samuiruto aliweza kuchia cabinet meeting upande wa state house by the way William Samuiruto anachia cabinet meet- meetings kila kila wiki wa Kenya wameweza kulalama kwa hilo anyway hatukukua kwa hilo sasa kipindi ambapo aliweza kuchea ile cabinet meeting mtazamaji wangu mtafaruko umeweza kushuhudiwa pale ambapo inasemekana kwamba serikali imeweza kutenga pesa za kuweza kujenga what kujenga nini kujenga kitu ambacho kinaitwa power line ambayo itakuja ku cost 66 billion So ni ishara kwamba serikali imekuwa ikikata stima hapa nchini ili waweze kuchukua pesa za serikali wapeane tenda kuelekea kwa watu fulani ili waweze kujenga kitu ambacho kinaitwa power line ambayo itakuja ku cost 66 billion na itajengwa upande wa Narok Bomet Karibu nikuelezee mengi tena zaidi Tafadhali jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 kama haujaweza kupiga subscription chukua sekunde yako moja uweze kupiga subscription alafu ubonyeze kengele ukishafanya hivyo utakumijikatia tikiti ya moja kwa moja kuweza kupokea matukio yetu pindi tu tunapo yaachia hewani vile vile kile ambacho nakuomba tafadhali unaweza ukashia kenda hii kuelekea kwa grupu moja mbili tatu ili wa watu uweze kupata matukio ambayo yanaendelea katika taifa la Kenya kipindi ambapo natusemeza tafadhali tuambie ni ambalo ulipo William Samoiruto katika kamati yake ya mawaziri ambaye aliweza kuongoza kikao chake cha mawaziri ambacho aliweza kuongoza upande wa State House Wednesday waliweza kuelewana kwamba waweza kujenga what we call a power line upande wa Bomet Narok ambayo itakuja ku address issue ya blackout hapa nchini Let me ask you maina kipindi cha uhuru Kenyatta hatukukuwa tunashuhudia by the way blackouts hizi blackouts zilikuwa zina ama zilianza kukuja hivi juzi kipindi ambapo walikuwa ama waliweza kuingia mamlakani na sasa hivi imeweza kudhihirika kwamba walikuwa wanajitafutia tenders jinsi ambavyo utakuja kufaidika kutoka kwa serikali anyway president ruto says government to build 66 billion power line to deal with constant blackouts. Na nielewa. President William Samuiruto has directed the Ministry of Energy led by Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirichir to compre- comprehensively deal with the challenge of power failure. The president who spoke on Wednesday after sharing a cabinet meeting said frequent power outages were hurting Kenyans investment profile. According to dispatch from uh, State House the cabinet discussed the matter on power failure extensively and resolved that the transmission line system should be unbuilded so that a power failure in one part does not affect the entire country. Unasikia mtazamaji wangu kwenye kikao ambacho kimeweza kufanyika upande wa State House William Ruto ameweza kumpembeleza mtu ambaye anaitwa Davis Chirichir uh, aweza kufanya nini? Aweza kujenga watu ikole power line transmission mpya ambayo itakuja ku cost 66 billion Kenyan shillings. Na wanasema kwamba waliweza kupata serikali ikiwa msoto. Anielewa? Unajua wa Kenya wengi walikuwa wanatarajia kwamba William Samuruta atamfuta mtu ambaye anaitwa Davis Chirichir kutoka kazini ama aweze kubadilishia kuelekea kwa wizara nyingine katika hii wizara ya Ministry of Energy aweze kumtafuta waziri mwingine 
Unasikia? Aweza kumtafuta waziri mwingine mwenye anachapa kazi vizuri. Lakini kitu ambacho kimeweza kugundulika hapa bwana Davis Chirichiri ni rafiki ya bwana William Samui Arap Ruto. So, there is no way wataweza kufanya nini? Wataweza kumfuta Davis Chirichiri na ni mtu wa mkono wa William Samui Ruto. And you know very well Davis Chirichiri ni mtu wa IT. So there is no way anaweza kamtoa kule na yeye ndio mtu wa mkono mwenye anaamini mwenye anamfanyia kazi yake. So mtaendelea kuangamia kwa upande wa uh, nguvu za umeme kuendelea kupotea hapa nchini. Na sasa hivi tumekwisha gundua kwamba hii ilikuwa ni calculated deal kwamba nguvu za umeme zipotee pote ili waweze kutoa pesa za serikali wajipatie tender. Wajenge power line transmission a line system pesa zingine wa kule ndio wakuji waseme kwamba wamesolve what we call power outages katika taifa la Kenya kwani kipindi cha uhuru kenyata hatukukuwa tumeona hii power line transmission system imejengwa ama inge haikujengwa mpya lakini stima si ilikuwa Kenya mzima anasema ite kwamba sasa iweze kujengwa upande wa Narok Bomet ndio kipindi ambapo stima itakuwa imepotea some parts of, parts of the country iweze ka affect nini Kenya nzima hmm? to deal with the overloading of transmission lines that cause outages the Bomet Narok line skiliza the Bomet Narok line will be built with 66 billion Kenyan shillings na nielewe mtazamaji wangu hmm? hiyo ndio nia ambayo wako nayo sasa hivi wamekwishaamua kwamba watakuja kutumia pesa za mlipa ushuru wakuje kujenga hiyo power line transmission. Yaani Kenya yetu mtazamaji wangu haina kitu ambacho kinaitwa kukujua jinsi ambavyo wanatumia pesa zao. Kumbe hii ilikuwa ni kitu ambacho kimeweza kupangwa kikapangiliwa ndipo waweze kujipatia tenda kwa sababu wangejipatia tenda wa Kenya wangefanya nini? Wa Kenya wangeanza kupiga kelele. Anielewa? Ha? sasa hivi wamekwishaambiana sasa hiyo power line ianze kujengwa ndipo sasa wafanye nini waseme kwamba hizo 66 billion zimekwisha tumika kujenga hivi na vile unajua this is looting hii ni kuiba mali tu ya serikali sio kitu kingine na hata utaweza kosti utaweza kuta kwamba kosti ya hii power line haiwezi kapita hata bilioni kumi lakini sasa hivi wamekwisha fanya nini wamekwisha tuambie tu kwamba itakuwa ina kosti 66 billion uzuri ni ule mtu ambaye anaitwa mkaguzi wa bajeti B Margaret Nyakanga aliweza kutuambia kwamba kwa kila kitu ambacho serikali inafanya hapa nchini ina extra rate badala ya kufanya actual uh, actual structure unakuta kwamba kipindi ambapo wanafanya quotation wanafanya quotation ambao umeweza kuwa extra rate kama hii ambao umeweza kutuambia itakuwa ina cost 66 billion i'm suspecting that it has cost at 10 ama 20 zingine waweke kwa mifuko yao and by the way do you know that serikali imeweza kutupilia mbali kesi yake Margaret Nyakango eh, eh. serikali imeweza kutupilia mbali kesi ya Margaret Nyakango ile kesi ambayo walikuwa wameanza kumtafutia vijima makosa it kwamba siji 2016 alikuwa na makosa kabla aweze kuteuliwa kama control of budget siku chache tu baada ya kuweza ku expose serikali kwamba wanalipa watu mishahara mara tatu. Hii leo siku ya Jumatano tarehe 13 Margaret Nyakanga aliweza kutoa ripoti ambayo inaonyesha jinsi ambavyo state house imeweza kutumia 2.2 billion in just 3 months. Umesikia? 2.2 billion in just 3 months. Na vitu ambavyo vinatumika state house ni afisi ya William Sabuiruto pamoja na state house kwani ni vyakula gani hivi wananunua ni vifaa gani hivi waliweza kununua upande wa state house baada ya mama Margaret Nyakango kuweza kutoa hiyo ripoti na kusema kwamba wizara ya fedha huu unakuta inalipa watu fulani hapa katika afisi za serikali mishahara mara tatu baada ya mama Margaret Nyakango kutoa hiyo ripoti siku ya Jumatano serikali imekwisha cancel kesi yake so ni ishara kwamba serikali ya bwana William Samoei Ruto imeona tukiendelea kumfinya huyo Margaret Nyakango as long as in control of budget 
ataendelea kutu expose zaidi ataendelea kutu expose zaidi so kitu kilioko wacha tutupilie kesi yake mbali anyamaze umeona venye wamepiga deal na serikali imeweza kutupilia kesi yake mbali alafu William Samuruta akaweza kuitisha kikao upande wa state house kuweza kujadili jinsi ambavyo watakuja kuangalia ili swala la power blackout na wametuambia kwamba watakuja kutumia 66 billion kuweza kuunda hiyo power line transmission line system Naniona so kama wange drop hiyo kesi Mama Margaret Nyakangu maybe angeweza kutuambia kwamba hawa watu ni wakora kwa sababu serikali tunajua kwamba uh, ni kora. Mkenya kama huyu Vicky Jason akasema kwamba Chiri Chiri said in a brief that the recent blackout was just a result of power upsurge in a station at Kisumu as it went above the required 80 megawatts. The following day I had him say that uh, and to deal with the problem there was a need to ration power supply in the western region he inanichanganya akili akili fellow kenyans i stand to be enlightened on this one yani anauliza kwamba juzi tu bwana chirchir aliweza kutuambia kwamba blackout ambayo iliweza kushuhudiwa hapa nchini kenya iliweza kukosiwa na upande wa kisumu iti kwamba ile power line uh, supply iliweza kubeba moto mwingi ambayo ilipita 80 megawatts ndio maana stima ikakatika kidogo kidogo akaweza kutuambia kwamba they want to rationalize wanatupimia jinsi ambavyo tutakuwa tunatumia stima katika taifa la Kenya maybe wanafungulia asubuhi usiku wanafunga na sasa hivi wanataka kutuambia kwamba ili kuweza kupunguza hii issue ya blackouts wanataka kujenga what we call power transmission line system upande wa Narcobomet uone kuna kitu ambacho kinaendelea hapa So serikali imeamua kwamba inakata stima and then wanajipea tenda wenyewe. Hm? <laughs> yeah. Where is he gonna get the 66 billion yet empty coffers has been a song for the last for the last one year. Anauliza kwamba atapata wapi hizo 66 billion ambazo anasema kwamba atakuja kutumia kuunda hii power line transmission line kipindi ambapo anasema ite kwamba waliweza kupata empty coffers kipindi ambapo waliweza kuingia mamlakani hmm? Uyu mluya anauliza kwani uhuru alienda na stima yake nyinyi mkakuja na yenu na yenye iko weak ama Ruto wacha kutupima ha? Unaona mtazamaji wangu wa Kenya wanachangazwa kipindi cha uhuru Kenyatta stima iko inapotea Ruto ameingia mamlakani stima inapotea na wanasema kwamba they want to use the 66 billion kwani uhuru Kenyatta alienda na stima yake sasa hao wanataka kujenga stima yao ama kila serikali ambayo inaingia mamlakani inajenga stima yake kipindi ambapo wana, wanaondoka mamlakani wanatoa stima yao tuchanuane tu kwa sababu umeweza kusikia hapa hivi wanataka kujenga wanataka kutumia 66 billion kujenga power line transmission system see ni wastage of money pesa ambazo zingeweza kuwekezwa mahali hivi ziweza kuleta uh, maendeleo na wanasema kwamba hii blackout ambayo inaendelea kushuhudiwa katika taifa la Kenya inaletea jina mbaya Kenya. Na ndio unauliza kipindi cha uhuru stima iko inapotea. Sema nasi na rejea na mengi tena zaidi. Si ni njia moja ya kuweza kuiba mali ya serikali. 